Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you've decided to start organizing your files and folders, you will want to move files and folders around or copy them to a new folder location. There is a difference between moving and copying files and folders. When you move a file or folder, you place the item into a different location on your computer's filing system. When you copy a file or folder, you make an exact copy of the selected file or folder and then put the copy into a new place in your computer's filing system. When you move a file, it is often referred to as cutting and pasting. When you copy a file, it is referred to as copying and pasting. You can cut or copy and then paste files in several different ways. One way is to navigate to the file or folder that you want to cut or copy within Windows Explorer so that you can see the icon for the file or folder that you want to move or copy displayed in the pane at the right side of the window. Make sure that you change the Windows Explorer's window size to restore so that it is not maximized. Now you can open a second Windows Explorer window. And this time, use this window to navigate to the folder where you want to paste the item that you will copy or cut from the first window. Once again, make sure that this second window is in the restore mode and then place it next to the first window. At this point, then, you can simply click and hold down on the file or folder from the first window and then drag it into the second window and drop it there by releasing your mouse button. Now, if the files are located on the same computer drive, then doing this will cut and paste or move the item. If they are on different computer drives, then doing this will copy and paste the item. Note that if you wanted to copy the item, regardless of which drives the selected files are located within, then you repeat the same procedure, but this time simply hold down the control key on your keyboard as you drag and drop the selected file or folder. You'll notice a small plus sign will appear next to your mouse pointer as you drag the items between the windows. This icon indicates that the file or folder is being copied versus being cut. Once again, then release your mouse pointer, and then release the control key. And this time it will copy versus cut. Now another way to cut, copy, and paste is to simply click on an item within a Windows Explorer window that you want to cut or copy in order to select it. Next, if you're using Windows 8, click either the Copy or the Cut buttons that appear in the Clipboard button group on the Home tab within the ribbon. If you're using Windows 7 or Vista, Click the Organize button in the toolbar at the top of Windows Explorer, and then choose either the Cut or Copy command as desired. Next, navigate into the folder into which you want to paste the item that you just cut or copied by using Windows Explorer. You can use the same window if desired. Once you've arrived at that location, if you're using Windows 8, then simply click the Paste button that appears within the clipboard group on the Home tab in the ribbon to paste the item. If you're using Windows 7 or Vista, click the Organize button in the toolbar at the top of the Windows Explorer window and choose the Paste command from the drop-down menu that appears to paste the item into the current window. Now, another way to cut, copy, and paste is also available if you're using Windows 8. Using this method, you simply select the file or folder to cut or copy within the Windows Explorer window. Then you can click either the Move To 
or copy to buttons that are shown within the organize group on the home tab in the ribbon depending on whether you wish to move or copy the selected item. From the drop down menu that appears you can then select the name of one of the recently accessed folders or libraries to paste the item into the selected folder. Note that you can also click on the Choose Location command that appears at the bottom of either drop-down menu to open a Move Items or Copy Items window. Within this window, you can then use the hierarchical folder navigation shown to select the destination folder where you want the selected item to be moved or copied. You use this window to select a folder just as you would use the navigator that appears in the pane at the left side of Windows Explorer. Now once you've selected your destination folder within this window, click either the Move or Copy button that appears at the bottom of the Move Item or Copy Item window to move or copy the selected item and then close the window. Now one final way to cut, copy, and paste files and folders is by using your keyboard. To do this, first select the item that you want to copy or move within Windows Explorer, and then press either Control plus the C keys on your keyboard to copy the item, or Control plus the X keys on your keyboard to cut the item. Then navigate into the folder where you want to paste the item that you just selected. To then paste the item that you just cut or copied into the selected folder, press the Control plus V keys on your keyboard. The paste command works the same way regardless of whether the initially selected item was cut or copied. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.